Hi, I'm Hannah Snellgrove. I'm an Ilka 6 sailor in the British sailing team and I'm going to give you some downwind tips for light to medium conditions, which is what we've got today. I think the most important thing in an Ilka is that you shouldn't just be plonked on the side sat down when you're going downwind. You should be really quite up on your feet and mobile. Um, and then dead downwind is not the fastest way to sail an Ilka downwind. You should be either by the lee or on a broad reach and so you're doing little S turns between the two and the way you should do that is that your main sheet, your body weight and your rudder, your steering should all be working together in unison to make those turns happen. So heading downwind we've got all of our controls nice and loose so outhaul's off, Cunningham's off, kicker's pretty loose as well, your kicker should be sufficiently loose that the battens of the sail are almost breathing so that it's sort of fanning itself gently. So centreboard's a little bit up. Uh, I like to go nice tight toe strap so that you're nice and locked into the boat and you're a bit more mobile. And then when it's light winds like this, rather than taking the main sheet from the ratchet block, I like to go from the boom directly so you've got a little bit more feel. So when you're going downwind in a laser, it's quite flat water, but you are still allowed to do turns with waves. Um, and also you are allowed to use your body weight to turn to initiate, or you're allowed to use your body weight to initiate a turn, to initiate steering. So when it comes to talking about S turns in a laser, at the moment, you can see by my bird G, I'm going quite by the lee. So not downwind but almost more downwind in another in say like a an, a boat with an asymmetric spinnaker you'd be on the other dive um so boom's quite far out keeping the boat fairly flat see lots of people make the mistake of kiting it too far on top of themselves so nice and flat and almost sort of perched on the grab rail and i could move anywhere i wanted without too much difficulty um so if you want to go from a by the lee to what we call an upturn to a broad reaching angle, you would put some leeward heel on, which you can see turns the boat without using too much rudder. So you put some leeward heel on, bit of sheet in, and then you can use your rudder a little bit to just help with the turn. So, and you see you get a little, a little spurt of speed out. You put a little bit of windward heel on, let your main sheet out and the boat will naturally turn back down to the by the lee angle. So putting it all together should look a little bit like this. There's the downturn and then the upturn. and then back down again. So it's quite flat water at the moment, but typically the wavier it gets, the more frequent your turning would get. And also those turns can help you to get surfing on waves as well, which is the most fun part. If you'd like more dinghy racing tips, then make sure you subscribe to the Dinghy Racing channel.